Howdy everybody. Welcome back to Ireland Bound. And uh, I think I told y'all last time that we were going to work on something a little bit different instead of looking at census records all the time. Uh, if y'all remember right, uh, I had mentioned that, you know, there was some question about Dalhart, Texas, and whether the name Dallum County was right or Hartley County. Well, we're going to look at that tonight. We are going to get some proof, and we're going to find out exactly what the deal is. You know, is it one county? Is it another? You know, um, who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll be surprised. But uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started and find out where's Dalhart at. Okay. So... Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to come in here and we're going to go to the search bar. Uh, as I have just found out the hard way, uh, apparently this does not allow me to do a double recording. Uh, if I am using this app to record what's going on in my screen, uh, it mutes out anything else, so... While this is doing the screen thing, I'm going to have to just tell y'all, walk y'all through it. Uh, so what we do is we go to the search bar and we begin to type in what we want. Um, and what we are wanting to know is what county is Dalhart in? Uh, so just give it a second. I speak faster than what I can type. <laughs> That's why I like doing this, the speaking part of it there. What county is Dalhart, Texas in? Now, it's going to pop it up here in just a moment. And it's going to tell us. Dalhart. It is, look at this. Y'all can read it right there. Dalhart is a city in Dalham and Hartley counties in the United States in the U.S. state of Texas, and it's the county seat of Dallam County. So it's basically a border town. It sits on the line between two different counties, Dallam County and Hartley County. So it's, it's a double thing there. You get two for the price of one with that one. Um, it has a population of 8,347 as of the last census taking. And it's an elevation of 3,983 feet and covers almost five miles. It's 4.792 miles. So it's a, it's a good-sized county. It's a, a nice-sized county. So you, you can get uh, quite, a, you know, quite a few people there in five miles. Uh, I'm just giving it a second because, like I said, it's uh, not letting me record what I want to, so I'm having to, to do a voiceover. I'm just waiting for the, the thing to switch over to, to something else. But while we're waiting, um, I ought to give you a theory that I have. Now, the theory is is that when my mother was born, they probably were living on the Dallum side. Now, you remember on her story, I told you that there had been a uh, trailer fire and she had almost died. Well, I'm thinking that when that fire happened, they moved to another house, maybe one that was set up on the Hartley side of Dellum. So they moved over there. And of course, that's where my uncle was born. Like I said, that's just my theory. I can't prove it because my mom, my uncle, and my grandparents have all passed away now. So they can't tell me, yes, you're on the right track, or nope, you're way off. But, I mean, it's a good theory, right? Uh, here in just a moment, we are going to move into some other areas here. Find out a little bit more. The map. Yes, that's what we were going to do. Uh, sorry, it's taken me a few minutes because, like I said, it's it didn't allow me to record. I tried twice and it didn't let me record. So we're going to go to Google Maps now. Exactly where Dalhart is, according to uh, what 
you know, like what can uh, where it sits on the county line, stuff like that. Oh, that's very nice here. Look at that. See that uh, the light colored area, and then it's got that red, the red dots around it. That is the basically the land sides and where it all sits. Um, got a few major roads coming through. Got um, Highway 87, Highway 54. There's another one called 385 that joins in there. And uh, all, all this, you know, area through here. And if you'll notice right down here on the south side, it looks like it's got a nice, good-sized lake there. So, uh, looks like a, a good, prosperous town still. Um, and there is another thing about Dalhart that is on the interesting side. Uh, a lot of people who are... Okay, so since we have lost the sound again, I am going to just read off to you what I see on here. Dalhart is a city in Dalham and Hartley counties in the U.S. state of Texas and the county seat of Dalham County. Uh, of course, this gives the population as it was in 2010, where the other one, it gave it for 2021, which would be the more accurate one. Um, you know, of course, weather, population, stuff like that. Uh, it's going to take a moment for it to roll over. Why it is that this keeps cutting out on me, I don't know. Um, like I said, it might be a fault of the thing that I'm using or something else. Ah, here we go. We moved down to the Wikipedia. This is where I got a lot of really good information from. So uh, just give it a moment here and it will pop up. Here, here we, we go. go. Yeah. Uh, Dalhart is a city in Dalham and Hartley counties in the U.S. state of Texas. And it's the county seat of Dallam County. Now, you, you know what would have been really kind of fun and cool? Is if Dalhart was the county seat of both Dallam and Hartley County. Now, that would have been cool. Uh, but they chose not to, so it's it belongs to two different ones there. Uh, founded in 1901, Dalhart is named for its location on the border Remember I mentioned Border Town of Dallam and Hartley counties. Its name is a portmanteau of the names of the two counties. Basically meaning it takes a little bit off of one county and a little bit off the other to form the name. As founded on the site of a railroad junction which heavily contributed to its early growth. Now, uh, anybody who has seen my family stories that I did, uh, the ones where I was talking about, you know, the, the family history, the, the things that different family members did. Um, if you'll remember right, my grandparents, my mom's mom and dad, they met because of the railroad. And my grandfather worked the railroad. He was uh, helped to, to build a lot of the lines and stuff. And he met my grandmother. They got married. And my mother, of course, was born while he was working on the railroad. And as I, I have discovered through the census, well, not the census records, through a couple of other records, my grandfather was still working for this railroad when World War II started, before he went to California to work uh, in the shipyards out there. So, um, you know, the, the rail, that being a railroad junction, it kind of makes sense, you know. It's, uh, you know, my grandfather would keep his family close to the railroad so that, that way he could work and then come home to them every night. Uh, it says, Delhart was in the center of the Dust Bowl in an area adversely affected by a long period of drought and dust storms during the Great Depression of the 1930s. Now, that, that was something that was pretty wide-ranging. I mean, it's it w went through Kansas and Oklahoma and a big part of Texas, and I can't remember where else, but that was a really, really difficult time. You had, and, and by the way, for anybody who is curious, 
The Dust Bowl is actually a separate event from the Great Depression. The Great Depression was an economic downturn that happened because of bad investments through Wall Street. The Dust Bowl was actually a lack of rain. It had nothing to do with the economy, even though for some reason people keep trying to say that they're the same thing. They're not. The Great Depression was taking place long before the Dust Bowl started. Uh, now, th this is something that's kind of funny. It says here, Tex Thornton, operating on the now debunked concussion theory, coaxed uh, today's inflated adjustment equivalent of $1 million from the locals on claims that he could fire rocket-powered explosions into the clouds and cause rain. Uh, that's what you would call a snake oil salesman. Uh, <laughs> he uh, basically he was trying to say he could do something that can't be done. You know, if if that was true, if you could fire rockets up into clouds, uh, every time the Fourth of July would happen here in America, there would be a lot of rain that would start happening, which never happens. Uh, it, you know, people would believe things like that because they were desperate. But, uh, people know better now, and so they don't. Let's see. Dalhart is located in the northwestern Texas. His location, um, sits in the southern Great Plains and is heavily impacted by the agricultural industry. Dalhart is about 70 miles north and west of Amarillo, the nearest city that has a population of over 100,000 people. Um, you know, I, uh, I mentioned, I think I mentioned, maybe it was in the other one, the one that, uh, lost part of it. Um, Dalhart was actually in the middle of the XIT ranch. Uh, in fact, I, I'll get down to it here in just a moment, but it'll mention XIT in just, uh, here in just a few seconds. Uh, see some of the things you can see down there. Climate, go down a little bit further, census, economy, arts and culture. Here it is. That's what I was looking for. Dalhart is known as the XIT city. Now, for, for those who don't understand XIT, X is the Roman numeral for the number 10. I stands for N, and T stands for Texas. So it's 10 in Texas. 10 counties that combined together to form basically what was the XIT Ranch. It says Delhart is known as the XIT City because of its relationship with the historic XIT Ranch. The ranch was a 3 million acre plot of land traded in exchange for the construction of the Texas State Capitol in Austin. The ranch was dissolved in 1912, but its history is celebrated with the city's XIT Museum and the XIT Rodeo and Reunion held annually on the first full Thursday through Sunday weekend of August. So, um, you know, there it is. There is the whole thing about the, the XIT. Like I said, a lot of people, some of the newer generations might not know and might not get it, but the, uh, the XIT was a pretty big, pretty popular thing back then. Now, what, what I find kind of funny here, uh, says it was dissolved in 1912. That's the year that my grandfather was born. So here it is, 1912, the XIT is being dissolved, and about 25, 26 years later, he would basically marry my grandmother and move into the area, and my mother would be born. Now, my, my mother used to always jokingly tell me that she was born on the XIT ranch. Technically, it was no longer a ranch by the time she was born there, but it was still known by that XIT, uh, you know, distinction there because of the fact that it was part of what used to be 
the world's largest ranch. Uh, runs in my mind, there's one that's not quite as big as the XIT that's owned by, um, I think it's Ted Turner. It's like a million acres or something like that, which is about a third of the size of what XIT was. But, uh, yeah, so it's it's one of those things, you know. Um, it doesn't exist anymore, but it is something that is part of Texas history and Texas culture. I think now in Texas, the largest one is the King Ranch. I think that at least that's what runs in my mind. It, I think it covers like five counties or something like that. So it's a lot smaller, but, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much Dalhart. It's a border town. It sits between two counties, county seat of one and just sits in the county of the other. And it's part of what used to be the XIT. So now we know. Alrighty, so I guess we have our answer now. Dalhart is in two counties. <laughs> it straddles a line and it belongs to Down County and Hartley County. Uh, <laughs> I don't think a lot of us saw that one coming, unless, of course, some of y'all who are watching is from Dalhart and y'all are going, I knew that all along. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, that makes two now that I know that it's traveled two counties. Um, you know, maybe y'all live somewhere else and, you know, of an, another place or you have visited a place or you have family that lives somewhere where their town straddles two different counties. You know, I mean, in all truth of the matter, we've also got a town that not only straddles two different counties, but the two different counties are in two different states. It's a, a town on the far east side called Texarkana, Texas, Arkansas, Texas, Arkansas, Texarkana. <laughs> so that, that one, like I said, not only are you in two counties at the same time but you're also in two states at the same time talk, talk about spreading yourself thin <laughs> so i mean okay that that's three now three that we know of uh like i said you know someone they might know somewhere else might be in another state entirely um you know i mean we there's a place called four corners that is on new mexico arizona Colorado, Nevada, I believe. You know, it's kind of a, a nice, you know, makes a nice little intersection there. And you've got a corner of each state there that they all touch. And you can be in four states at one time there. <laughs> but it, it just, it always, I always find it funny and interesting finding places like that where you have um, some place where something different or unique happens, you know, like you have two counties, you know, sharing one, one, uh, one town, or you have, uh, a city in, in two states, you know, like Texarkana. Like I said, there, there's probably other places, uh, those just right off the top of my head, those three are the ones that I know of, well, now three, um, like I said, mineral wells I've known about for a while, uh, Texarkana is kind of a famous one, and now I know about Dale Hart. So, uh, you know what? You know, it'd be interesting if any of y'all know of a place. Let me know. You know, it'd be it'd be fun to find out. You know, find out. Um, uh, you know, like I said, it doesn't have to be in Texas. Uh, it can be in Wisconsin. It can be in Maryland. It can be in Florida. California, you know, I, I, I don't care where, um, you know, maybe if someone is watching from another part of the world and they know of a town that is, you know, I, I, I don't know how they'd have it divided up in another part of the world, you know, uh, counties is kind of a, a European American thing, you know, I mean, you have Ireland that has like county down and county cork you know so that they, they've got counties there and I, I know that other places have like uh districts i think it is 
you know, may, maybe there's a town that kind of uh, in another part of the country maybe uh, straddles two different countries. <laughs> uh, actually, I think I think there are a few of those. I think they're called border towns. I, it runs in my mind. There's a few up north around Canada and a few down south on the Mexican border with Texas. Uh, Eagle Pass. Uh, not a, maybe it's someplace in the Big Bend area. I know that somewhere there is, uh, uh, down there, there's at least one town that part of it is in one country, part of it's in another. Uh, you know, like, like I said, it's, uh, you know, you're kind of, kind of in two places at once there, you know, I mean, it's one thing to go from two counties in two different states, but two different countries. <laughs> That would be pretty cool. So, um, like I said, if y'all know of a place, you know, let me know. If it's somewhere in the world, you know, if it's, you know, Pakistan and I Iran, you know, I, actually, I don't know if those two countries touch each other or not. I'm just, uh, I was trying to pull up two different names and those were the names that came to my mind. But, um, you know, as, let's see, um. Uh, Maybe one Switzerland that borders Austria or something like that. You know, it's like I said, there, there's so many places that it could happen. So, you know, let me know. It'd be fun to find out. And not to mention, it kind of expand our knowledge a little bit here. Um, so, I guess that's going to be it for tonight. And before I go, you're going to get my usual spill. That nice little red button down there. You know, the one that says subscribe. If you haven't done it already, hit that button, you know, uh, so that, that way, whenever I put something up, find out some more information, you can still follow along, you know. Like I said, it's, it's going to be kind of fun to take little side trips every so often, because I think we'll all go a little bit nuts if we keep reading nothing but census reports and death records and stuff like that. I mean, you can, kind of got to look a few things up every so often, right? So, big red subscribe button. Give me a like. Let me know that you, that you like the content. Uh, also, too, you know, like I said, leave a comment. You know, if there's some place that you know of that I haven't mentioned or you're going, oh, I know what border town you're talking about, please let me know. I'm going to go crazy until I figure it out. So, uh, we, uh, you know, leave a comment about that. And, you know, if you know someone that's interested in this type of stuff, Feel free to share it. I would love for you to share it with someone and, and let them be able to come and, and be a part of this lovely little world that we're starting here. And also, too, um, I'm kind of working on something with a friend. It's going to be kind of a co-collaboration. Um, I don't want to get too much into it right now, but uh, I think it's something that would be kind of interesting um, like I said, we're, we're kind of working out everything at the moment, but, uh, hopefully maybe in two to three weeks to a month, you know, uh, everything will be kind of settled and then I can let y'all know for certain what it is. But, uh, like I said, it's going to be something that it's going to be kind of fun. It's going to be kind of cool. And, uh, hopefully, you know, y'all will enjoy it. And when it happens, I will very much let y'all know. So anyways, like I said, subscribe, like, comment, and share away. Uh, and I hope y'all have a great week and we'll talk to you later.